How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now it's been some time since I've lost done a tech news video, but I really want to get back into it because it's usually fun to make and it's nice and informative. So I'm gonna get back into making these tech news video and instead of doing them just like on Fridays, uh, I'm going to try to do them like every weekday or sometimes like twice or three times a week just to cover a bit more of the tech because there's usually a bunch of stuff going on. So yeah, we're gonna get back into the tech news and we're gonna start off with Intel possibly releasing a new 10 core Comet Lake X desktop CPU. This is after it was apparently mentioned during a partner meeting. Now, we don't really have any information as of yet, it was just mentioned so far, but it should be still running on the 14 nanometer process, which Intel kinda has been stuck on since early 2015. Uh, where AMD is kind of giving them a beating there. Uh, also, this CPU will possibly be running a dual ring BIOS interconnect, which will help keep temperatures to a minimum. And also Intel has been known to keep their core latency in a check. So this might be a good option for them to go to. Uh, now of course, all of this is just speculation so far, it was just mentioned. So we will have to wait and see what is going to happen there. But at least so far, it does seem like the Comet Lake S CPUs will be running on the same 1151 socket as Coffee Lake. So we might not need to get entirely new motherboards and new systems, everything to run these new CPUs. As for some GPU news, early mentions was that the new 2060 card from NVIDIA will be under the GTX branding and not RTX uh, for ray tracing, but that actually seems not to be the case. Some benchmarks was discovered on Final Fantasy 15, where the new RTX 2060 scored reasonably well in the 4K high quality benchmark, sitting underneath the GTX 1070 by just 160 points which is still 600 points above the current 6 gig GTX 1060. So this means that the new RTX 2060 will be capable of doing a real-time ray tracing, which honestly might just be a total waste for this card because we've seen what real-time ray tracing does to an RTX 2080 Ti. And yeah, it's not that a pretty running 1080p games, possibly not even at 60 FPS depending on the location. So it might not be the best option to go for with a 2060, but yeah, NVIDIA is trying to go for that. The reason that it might not be the best idea for NVIDIA to market the 2060 as an RTX card is because the 60 range GPUs are usually the best selling gaming cards for NVIDIA and now with it having the ray tracing and not even going to be able to really do ray tracing or real time ray tracing it might not look that good at, especially pricing wise, that is the problem. If we looked at uh, the previous launches of uh, the RTX 2080, 2070, and even 2080 Ti, the prices was quite high compared to the previous launches of uh, previous cards. So will this new RTX 2060 fall in the same price range as uh, the previous uh, GTX 1060? It doesn't really look to be the case, uh, but of course we will have to wait and see because the cars will be re releasing uh, sometime uh, next year. But I want to know from you guys, what do you think of uh, this new RTX 2060? Do you, think, uh, do you guys think it's going to be a good card or not so far? The benchmarks seem to be okay, even though it is still under a GTX 1070. So let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Next up, some news from YouTube side, and it seems like YouTube is experimenting with something called ad 
pods. So how ad pods work is instead of you getting a more mid-roll ads with let's say a 15 minute video having three mid-roll ads, now you will get a two pre-roll ads instead of just normally the single one. So from the feedback, YouTube says that most viewers prefer to have a non-interrupted viewer experience. So with this new ad pod method, you won't really get as many um, internal interruptions while watching the video, uh, but instead of that, you will be getting a two or possibly more uh, pre-roll ads. So yeah, that might be a thing that we will see in the near future future. Uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about this so far. I will have to experience it firsthand. Uh, but I do think maybe if it's skippable ads, if you have two skippable ads, uh, then it's not going to be that big of an issue. Skip two five second uh, clips. It's not too big of an issue instead of having just random interruptions inside your the video you're watching, which can sometimes uh, be quite annoying. And we have also been seeing that YouTube is rolling out free movies on the platform uh, where they are ad supported, but you will be able to watch full fledged movies. Although it is older movies, you will be able to actually watch them for free just with ads if you can count that as free watching. So yeah, that is quite interesting to see from YouTube doing the free movies now. Again, it's mostly older stuff, but there might bring out newer movies, that might be cool. A bit more ads, I don't feel that's a big problem watching a full-fledged or longer ad. I don't really have a problem with that if I can watch the, the entire movie. Now, a while back on Linus Tech Tips, we saw that they reviewed a small pocket size PC from a GPD, which was actually good enough to play some games, although not crazy high quality games, uh, and just take it on the go, do some work and do some stuff like that. But it seems like they do have a bit of competitor now on the market with a company called One Notebook with their One Mix 2 Yoga. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with companies and their naming schemes, but it looks like they're sticking with uh, that. Now, this new One Mix 2 Yoga delivers pretty decent uh, specs in a device that only has a 7 inch display. So, it will be running full fledged Windows with an Intel Core M3 7Y30. It'll have 8 gigs of DDR3 memory, a 256 gig SSD, and the screen will have a resolution of a 1920 by 1200. Also, it will have an eight hour long battery of life while playing uh, videos. So it does actually look like a cool little tech gadget uh, to own, put out of your pocket, work a bit, play a bit of games. But at $633, it's quite an expensive cool tech uh, gadget uh, to own. And I'm not sure how many people will really go for this uh, thing. Then for our final topic, it's Cyber Monday. So if you guys haven't really picked up anything on a Black Friday, now is your chance. There are some cool tech deals going on, some gaming deals, everything. Uh, so if you guys want to pick up some nice deal, definitely check out uh, some of the uh, online stores. Also, just a mention as always just make sure that is actually a good deal go check out what the price was beforehand and also make sure that it's not a skimmed down version of the original product because that is sometimes the case now as for some just cool uh, gaming deals steam is still running its autumn sale so you will be able to pick up some really ni nice games at a discount and also for the cod players uh, black ops 4 is selling for only 42 dollars currently on blizznet so check that out out. And also some bad news probably or some good news. So I don't really know how to uh, categorize this, but a Fallout 76 is uh, dropping uh, down to only $35 from its $60 price tag on Amazon. So that is also quite weird to see that a massive triple A title is going down so much so early after a launch. So after going over everything, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this? Uh, these topics that we talked about with the new Intel CPU, the new 
RTX 2060. That one especially, I'm a bit curious about how that thing is going to perform. And then also some of these specials going on on Cyber Monday. Are you going to pick up Fallout 76? Have you picked it up? Is it worth it? I haven't bought it yet and I don't think I am. The reviews are just really bad for the thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really going to go for that. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, I'm going to do a small shout out in every video uh, where the first few people in the previous video uh, put hashtag notification squad. I will feature them at the end of the video just to give you guys some shout outs because I do really love the notification squad. Uh, but Anyway, that is a pretty much it for this tech news video. I do got, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, comment. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. And let me know what you guys think of me getting back into these tech news videos. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will take all of you next time. Cheers, guys.